Example number one. Y is equal to 2x cubed minus 3 cosine x. Number two. Y is equal to sine x plus 2 cotangent x. Now number three. Y is equal to x squared times cotangent x. Number four. Y is equal to square root of x times sine x. For number 5, y is equal to 4 sine 2x. Okay. Y is equal to 5 tangent x squared. Okay, let's try number 7. So, y is equal to 2 sine 3x plus 5 cosine 5x. Our last example for today, y is equal to cotangent quantity 1 minus 2x cubed. Everyone eyes on the board. Let's have our next topic which is the derivatives of trigonometric functions. So under pa din tayo ng differentiation. Perquisite nito, alam dapat natin ang mga rules. Constant multiple. Sum and difference, product, and quotient. As well as the chain rule. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa trigonometric functions. The good thing about trigonometric functions, given na yung mga derivatives ng ating mga functions. Our six identities. No pre-calculus natin, na-discuss natin ito. Tama? We have the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second, and cotangent. Okay. Sabi sa trigonometric function, the derivative of sine x is cosine x. Derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Derivative of tangent x is second squared x. Derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. Derivative of second x is equal to second x tangent x. And lastly, derivative of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant squared x. Sa exam natin, pwede naman mag-index card para hindi madaming information ang... Pero mas maganda na memorize ninyo. Si Tagaro, I think, memorize niya. Para, lalo sa mga mag engineering magiging uh, nasa system yun na lang na ganito lang yan, ganito. Para di na tumitingin sa index card. Now, let's apply the trigonometric functions using our example number 1. y is equal to 2x cubed minus 3 cosine x. Ayan. So, meron tayong term na may trigonometric function na cosine. Ito namang first term, wala tayong function. So, dito sa first term, ang gagawin natin, apply natin yung previous na nalalaman lang natin in differentiation. So, y prime is equal to okay, 3 times 2, 6, copy x, bawasan ng isang exponent, so square. Minus, copy si 3, tama. Then, kunin natin yung derivative nito. Anong derivative ni cosine? Is negative sine x. So, palitan lang natin siya ng negative sine x. Okay? Then, simplify na natin. So, y prime. Kopihin na to kasi nakuha natin yung derivative niya. Na-apply na natin kanina. So, we have... 6x squared. Negative times negative. Now we have 3 sine. So, yun na yung ating final answer. Yan, yun lang yun. Basta alam natin yung ating functions. Number 2 y is equal to sine x plus 2 cotangent x. Meron na tayong trigonometric function in first term and second term. 
Okay? Kung yun natin yung derivative. So, y prime. Derivative of sine x. Sine x is cosine x. Plus, copy 2. Derivative of cotangent x. Negative cosecant squared x. Okay. Now, simplify. Y prime <coughs> cosine x positive times negative 2 cosecant squared. Tama ko. Sino tumama? Tama ko. Tama ko. Diba? Now, number 3. Y is equal to x squared times cotangent x. So, multiplication, we're going to apply the product rule. Okay. Check natin, number 3. So, y prime is equal to product rule. First term, x squared times derivative nito. Derivative ni cotangent, negative cosecant squared x. Diba? Plus, the second term, cotangent x, times derivative ng first, x. Expression natin ay 2x. Now, simplify natin for the final answer. So, x squared times negative. So, negative x squared cosecant squared x. Next. Multiply natin. Positive 2x cotangent x. Question. Paano foil method? Wala tayong pwedeng ma-foil kasi single term, single term, single term, single term. Kaya hindi natin siya pwedeng i-distribute. Okay class, nung chinek natin sa photomat, ang pinaka-final answer na binigay sa atin ay this one. Sine 2x times x minus x squared all over sine x squared. Okay. Pero, dun, bago yung final answer na binigay niya, dumaan siya dito. Ibig sabihin, sinimplify niya sa pagiging sine function. Diba, ganun kapag sumasali tayo sa competition or yung final answer natin, sinusulad palagi sa either sine or cosine. Now, Paano natin ito gagawin over sine lang or kaya cosine lang? Try nga natin pumunta dito sa ganitong form. Okay. Using our basic knowledge ng pre-calculus, ano ba yung equivalent ni cosine squared at ni cotangent x? Para maging sine function lang tayo. Tutuloy lang natin para makapunta tayo dito. So, check natin kung paano tayo napunta sa ganitong sagot. Okay. So, substitute natin. This will become negative x squared. We know na yung cosecant squared x ay... 1 over sine squared x plus 2x. Ang cotangent naman ay cosine x over sine x. Yan. So, tanggalin natin si parenthesis. 
Distribute lang natin para mawala. So, negative x squared over sine squared x. Plus, 2x times cosine x. 2x cosine x all over sine x. Okay. Gawin natin single fraction. So, LCD natin. Sine squared x. Since sine squared x na to, kopihin na lang yung numerator, negative x squared, plus, ito naman, mag-multiply tayo ng sine x sa numerator and denominator. This will become 2x cosine x sine x. Para meron tayong sine squared x. Next! Factor out natin. Anong common factor natin? X. X. So, X. Baba na lang. X. Quantity. Negative X. Plus 2. Tapos, we have cosine X. Sine X. All over sine squared Medyo malapit na tayo. Ang goal na lang natin, mawala si cosine x. So, paano? Rio, paano tatanggalin to? Anong identity ang gagamitin natin? The double angle identity na na-discuss natin nung pre-calculus. Baka absent si Rio, no? Sine squared x so x negative x plus anong identity katumbas nito? Sine 2 x Ayun. Kapag sinimplify natin, ayan na siya. Okay, sa higher math na to, gagamitin natin kapag tuloy-tuloy na yung sa mga mag engineering Pero sa ating grade 11, okay na na hanggang dito lang tayo. Okay. Pinoof lang natin na dapat yung answer sa photomat makukuha din natin kapag ginamit na natin yung mga different identities natin. Number 4 y is equal to square root of x times sine x. Ano first step natin? Ano yung gagawin sa square root? So, this is product rule. Pero anong muna ang gagawin natin dito? X raised to 1 half. Gawin muna natin siyang X raised to 1 half times sine X. Kasi may hirapan tayo pag naka-square root lang siya. So, get the derivative now. First term, X raised to 1 half times derivative of sine x cosine x plus second term sine x times derivative nito 1 half x raised to negative 1 half simplify natin Y prime, we have X raised to 1 half cosine X plus sine X times 1 half X raised to 1 half. 1 half X raised to 1 half sine X. Oh, negative? So, negative. Anong next? Balik na natin yung mga nakaraise sa 1 half sa pagiging radical nila. So, y prime, ito ay square root of x, cosine x, plus 1 over, ibababa natin. So, nasa baba na si 2? 
Pag nasa baba na siya, will become square of x. And copy sign. So, wala na tayong naka-raise exponent at wala na tayong negative exponent. So, this will be the derivative of our view. Ito? Okay na yan. Okay na yan. Okay na yan. So, kung gusto natin gawing single term ito, pwede din naman. So, or, pag ginawang single term, square root of x, cosine x, plus, oh, multiply lang natin, 1 times sine x, over 2 square root of x. Over 2 square root of x. Siya din po yan. Okay lang. Same lang yan. For number 5, y is equal to 4 sine 2x. So let's going to use the chain rule. Chain rule tayo. So magle let you tayo. Let you sa parenthesis natin 2x. Now ano derivative ni u? U prime 2. So since nag let you tayo, so y now is equal to 4 sine u. Okay? Pinalitan lang si 2x ng u. Anong derivative ngayon is y? So we have 4. Anong derivative ni sine? Sine is cosine u. Kunin na natin ngayon yung derivative ni y. So, y prime, multiply lang natin, 4 cosine u times u prime natin, 2. Multiply lang natin ito. Yan? Ayan. 4 times 2, 8 cosine and for the final answer, ibabalik natin si u sa pagiging 8 cosine 2. Sino na ako ha? Samira? Nathan? Sino pa? Done with number 6? Okay. Y is equal to 5 tangent x squared. Chain rule ulit tayo. So let u be equal to x squared. Now, u prime is 2x. Okay? Y is equal to 5 tangent. Ito ay ginawa natin u. So, u. So, y prime is 5. Derivative of tangent. Tangent is second square u. So, y prime is equal to multiply natin. 5 second squared u times 2x. So y prime, 5 times 2x, then copy squared For the final answer, ibalik na natin yung nirepresent natin. So 10x times Squared. X squared. X squared. X. Yeah. So, yun lang siya. Sina ako ha? Raise your hand. Okay, let's try number 7. 
So y is equal to 2 sine 3x plus 5 cosine 5x. Change rule tayo bago tayo mag-proceed sa sum or difference rule natin. So, hatiin natin. Hatiin muna natin. So, ito muna, kukunin natin. Let u be equal to 3x. So, u prime is 3. So, since naglat tayo, ang y natin ngayon ay 2 sine ang 3x daw ay u. Now, u prime is 2 Sine natin ay cosine x. So, cosine u. Ayan. Next, u b 5x, then u prime is 5. Now, y is 5. Cosine is negative. Negative sine. Negative sine u. Or tanggalin na natin. Circle sine. Saan? Ah, ito. Cosine. Okay. Sige. U b equal to? Cosine. Cosine u. Then, u prime is? Negative. Negative 5. Sign. So, multiply natin to para makuha yung derivative niya. So, y prime, sige, diretso na tayo. 3 times 2, 6 cosine u. Copy plus. Multiply na natin to. 5 times negative 5. Then, sine u. Now, simplify. 6 cosine. Balik na natin. 3x. Positive times negative. Negative 25 sine u is 5. Yun na yun. Sinong mga nakakuha? Our last example for today, y is equal to cotangent quantity 1 minus 2x cubed. What rule? Chain rule. Okay, let's check. Yes. So let you be now u prime negative 6x squared. Sa last quiz natin, ang dami nagkamali, hindi hindi include yung negative. Then y is equal to then y prime cotangent is Multiply na natin. So, pwede namang maunot si u. Okay lang. Negative 6x squared. Multiply natin sa negative cosecant squared u. Negative times negative. So, 6x squared cosecant squared. Diretso na tayo. 1 minus 2x. So, yun lang. 
Your assignment number nine. Oh, kawain mo na kayo. Tama ako, sir. 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 Tama ako, sir.